hello everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to create this cute donut illustration in the app ibs paintex i will give you step by step instruction and the techniques i used so don't skip the video anywhere let's get started first i'm going to open the 3 to 4 3k canvas and i'm going to use the pen tip pen hard brush to draw some a uh, basic donut shape for the basic donut i'm going to use the ellipse shape uh, tool from the tools menu and here i just created the ellipse and i want uh, i'm going to uh, make some changes in this ellipse to make it as a donut so here you can see it looks more uh, uh, thin uh, you know vertically so i just increase the size a little bit and now i'm going to add some details so then click off the ellipse tool before that i'm going to also create uh, another ellipse a small ellipse this uh no represent the inner side of that uh, donut so the whole uh, at the center it it's going to be that part and now i'm just switching off the ellipse tool and i'm going to add the detail so uh, uh the, at the top we going to add the you know creamy uh that dip detail here you can see i'm just drawing the basic shape i didn't uh, use any extra tool for this randomly i'm creating some wavy lines and if you make any mistake you can erase easily using the special Erase a laser erase tool like this, and wherever you want some changes, uh, change in the shape. Just do orally because this line, this sketch is not going to be visible at the final uh, uh, output. So don't worry about this. Wherever you need change, just make changes like this. And here uh, represent the inner uh, part where the dip visible. and this is our donut and i'm going to create a blue layer below the sketch and i'm going to fill the color using the lago fill tool so here you can see i'm using the mustard color for the donut like this we can fill, uh, fill the uh, you know any color easily here the uh, donut uh, going to be uh, the yellow part going to be at the uh, bottom so you can create the color like this don't worry about the upper uh, irregular shape it going to be get covered uh, when we draw something uh, when we change the color of that uh, top dip detail so here you can see i'm using pink color for that so in the new layer i'm adding this color details you can either use bucket tool or a laser fill tool it's up to you and now i'm going to add the details for this so for the bottom part i'm going to create the clipping layer with blending mode linear bond and i'm going to add some dark details so using add brush triangle i'm going to add the darker shadows for this part like this keep the opacity of the brush as minimum as possible because the you know the bigger uh, uh, the maximum opacity not going to give the beautiful shade uh, compared to this minimum opacity so here you can see where i need more shadow i just reduce the size of the brush and increase the opacity here you can see it gives some 3d look like this so like this we have to add details one by one wherever we need so if you want some more darker shade use some darker version of that color and i'm using some burnt orange color here also adding shadows at the bottom at the side more shadow darkness at the left side and the brighter details are going to be on the right side 
so now it's ready i'm just going to create the same thing same linear blending mode layer clipping layer for the top uh, creamy part and as i sh uh, shown before here also i'm going to choose the same color with a little bit of darker shade and i'm adding the details like this so the shadow part is really important for this illustration because uh, this is how you're going to make the donut uh, a 3d so we want to make this as more 3d so for more 3d look we need to uh, concentrate highly on the shadow and the highlight part so here you can see as i told before uh, for the left side i'm adding more darkness compared to the right side and like this here for the inner part we want to add some darker details without affecting the uh, lighter part so i'm just using the lasso tool to select this area and add some darker shade so the inner part of the donut uh, is going to have some darker shade uh, that's because of the uh, because of the darkness so to create this uh, use this lasso tool here you can see the difference without um, adding the shadow to this uh, you know uh, outer part we created the shadow beautifully so now i am just created the uh, you know the add blending mode layer to ha add the uh, highlights for the uh, bottom part so for the bottom i am just choose the same color mustard color and using the add brush triangle and adding details like this as i told before keep the opacity of the brush minimum and to create some texture to this add like little little small uh, blow details and doing the same thing for the creamy part you can see we want the creamy part to be more glowy shiny so uh, for that sake i am adding that uh, brighter highlights at the corners so that it looks more you know blowy uh, shiny creamy like that so here you can see we are almost completing the corners and adding the details at the top making it more shiny okay now it's ready now i'm going to add some more details so this is going to give more glow to the uh, uh, wherever you need so what i'm doing is using lasso fill tool with minimum opacity so here you can see i just used 10 to 12 percentage to add these details immediately adding immediately after adding these uh, details you can uh, see some blue to that donut so at the to uh, top part we have done this and we're going to do the same thing for the uh, bottom part in the add blending mode layer go back to the add blending mode layer of the bottom part and add like this so you don't need to add the detail for the entire area instead add some uh, imagine where the light uh, highlights will be more uh, visible uh, more where it gives more shiny look and draw accordingly so now I'm going to add some texture to this so I'm uh, using the pointillism one brush on the same add blending mode layer like this bigger size and smaller opacity so don't do the details for the entire uh, uh, area also doing the same thing uh, moving to the linear bl uh, burn bl uh, blending mode layer to add some darker uh, texture details so now I'm going to add the chocolate chips like details for that in the felt pen hard brush instead of the 
uh, normal shape use the bead shape like this and now you can see it looks super realistic in this way I'm just going to change the color and add it as like this pink blue white yellow and some green like this Okay, now I'm going to create the folder to put everything inside this uh, folder. Now, on Donut Study, I'm going to create the background. So, at the top, bottom layer, I'm just going to fill the color like this. Then, I'm going to duplicate this donut two times. So, we're going to create two more donuts with the different colors. So I'm just changing the uh, name of the folder as pink, brown, white. So as the name suggests, we're going to change the color of the top a creamy area into brown and white. Brown chocolate, white chocolate, like that. I'm choosing some brown and in the brown folder, I'm just choosing the cream area layer and just filling with that color like this now at the add blending mode layer of that creamy area it looks pink so i want to change it to a brown or burnt orange color so using the lasso fill tool and just changing color just using the alpha lock button okay now instead of that chocolate chips i'm going to add a layer and using the scribble pen brush with white color i'm adding details like this so be conscious about the uh, flow of that detail so it's really goes uh, you know gives you attractive look to the uh, art so like this I just erase that center point uh, place using the uh, lasso eraser tool and now I'm positioning the pink below and brown above using the transform tool so if you want to move the entire folder just click on that folder and then use the transform tool now going to the white I'm going to use some creamy white color and filling with the uh, you know cream area with that color then changing the linear blending uh, burn blending mode layer into your you know vivid light color and just reducing the opacity of that add blending mode layer now it's ready also for this chip chocolate chip instead of chocolate chips i'm going to add these details so same as for the brown so here i'm going to use the dark brown color and the same scribble pen so the pattern of this detail is going to be different compared to the previous one like this it is here like this okay now i'm going to arrange them one by one so there are two line detail donut and one chocolate dip donut uh, uh chips donut so between that white and brown i'm going to place the pink so i'm just moving the folder brown to the bottom and pink at the top at the utmost top it's going to be the white and i'm just positioning them one by one like this checking which looks good using the transform tool okay let's look good so i want to make them all big in the canvas so 
just switch off the background color layer and click on the canvas option in the transform tool and you can do this easily now i'm going to add some darkness at the background so for that i'm going to use the same background color but with the linear burn blending mode layer and i'm using the mirror ruler add brush triangle brush So at the center, I'm also adding some glow details. Okay, now I need some more shadow. So for that, using the linear blend, burn blending mode layer for the folder, flipping layer for the folder, each folder, I'm adding some darkness here and there. So now for the pink, and just create a linear burn clipping layer and adding darker details like this so it shows the shadow of the top and bottom donuts similarly for the white donut I'm adding the shadow details like this now it's ready. And at the bottom of all donut, I'm going to add some shadow. So just created the linear burn blending mode layer. And using the brown color, I did it. And just reducing the opacity of the shadows. Now it's ready. Save this as PNG. And this is the final output outcome of our donut i hope you like this tutorial if you get some information subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching